We as an NBA community need to stop setting up our young draft prospects for failure because I see this happening so often and I feel so bad for these kids. And today I'm gonna to use Victor Wenbenyama as a play-by-play -play case of why it's wrong to hype up 19 year olds and compare them to 34 year olds. So Victor Wenbenyama went number all in the NBA draft in June and he was hyped up, I mean hyped. And leading up to the draft, there were legitimate people, legitimate, respectable NBA personalities, talking heads that were literally saying that Victor Wembanyama is the most hyped up prospect since LeBron James. Now, that is a huge claim to make, right? Because Victor Wembanyama, although he was big, is nothing compared to LeBron James. So I wasn't around when LeBron James was coming up. So when you go back and look at the history and you look at what happened, LeBron James was having stadiums filled when he was a sophomore in high school. He was having games, his games played on ESPN when he was a sophomore in high school. I mean, at 16, at 15. He was on a cover of Sports Illustrated at 16 years old and was already named as the next great, the next Michael Jordan at 16, mind you. So to compare Victor Wembanyama at 19 to LeBron James at 16, it just isn't right. And furthermore, many in the NBA news media literally said if Victor Wanbayama is Dirk Nowitzki, or if he if he's as good as Dirk Nowitzki, or if he's as good as Kevin Garnett, or if he's as good as other bigs that have been in the league, he is a bust. And I have a problem with that. I have a problem with it because firstly, that is a lot of pressure to put on a 19 year old kid. We tend to forget that these guys are still just kids, right? I'm a couple years removed from what Victor Wendayama, but still, I have enough empathy to go back to when I was 19, how I thought of the world, how I thought of myself, my confidence level, right? What other people thought of me mattered. I have that insight, that perspective, that self-introspective analysis to understand that doing that to Victor at this age literally is a detriment to his development. And it happened during his first game in a summer league. During his first game in the summer league, he had like nine points, um, 12 rebounds, and five blocks. People automatically called him a bust. Mind you, this is one game in the NBA, not even in the NBA NBA, in NBA summer league. One game, not even a full 48 minutes, and people already call him a bust. First of all, that is absurd. If you're an NBA fan or, or an NBA analyst, and you call Victor Wembanyama a bust after he has one game, you lose all credibility because that is one game of thousands to come. So you can't say he's a bust because of that, but that didn't stop people from labeling him a bust, right? Granted, the next game he came, he dropped 27 points. And you could tell the reason he had such a bad first game in a summer league was because the lights are bright, bro. Like, you're the number one overall pick. You're being compared to LeBron James. It's insane the amount of attention this kid was getting. And so... You know, the, the, the nerves are still there. And once he got over that in the first game, the next game was just a cakewalk for him. And so the Spurs shut him down. So we won't see any more of him in the summer league. But it just goes to show you how little of a criteria it is to call you a bust. And this happens to prospects year in, year out. Before uh, Victor Wanbanyama, it was Chet Holmgren. I remember last year making a video on Chet Holmgren and I was saying this specific, the same thing because they were comparing Chet Holmgren last year to Kevin Durant. I'm like, guys, pull down your brakes, like pump the brakes, right? And they were hyping him up, hyping him up, hyping him up. And I know it won't stop with Victor Wembanyama because next year it's going to be the same thing. This, The next kid is going to be in a new cycle and they're going to tell him as the best this, the best that, the next this, the next that. Let them just be them. Let Victor Wanbyama be Victor Wanbyama. And before you write him off as a bust, watch him play first. Even if he doesn't succeed in the first two years of his career, in the first three years of his career, that doesn't mean he's a bust. My opinion, a player should only be called a bust after they've spent four years with a team or have not been traded to a different team. So Scotty Barnes, for example, he's with the Toronto Raptors, was drafted two years ago, right? Won Rookie of the Year in 2022. I still can't call him a bust. Why? Because he's spent two years with the Raptors. He hasn't he hasn't been there for four years. And then also, who's to say he wouldn't do better if he was on a different team than, Ra than Raptors, right? 